Okay, so I like to make Python videos, and maybe you can learn from them, but really they're for me, because I forget things. So this is a video for me, so that I remember how to do things. Okay, so what I want to do is take multiple variables and go through all the possible combinations. So let's start with one dimension, and let's do that, because we've done that before. So I'm going to say, let's say x equals, z oops, x equals 0, dx equals 1, and let's do something like while x less than 4, print x, x equals x plus dx. This is what we do in a normal calculation. And yes, there are many ways. You don't have to do a while loop. But so I'm going to go through, increase, print x, increase it, and keep doing that. And if I run that, I get 0 up to 3 because then it's not less than 4 and it stops. Okay. But now I want to do this for x and for y. So let's say, well, let's do the same thing. y equals 0, dy equals 1. And let's just add another loop in here while <clears throat> y less than 4. And then indent this. Print x and y. And then increase y. And now run it. See what happens. Okay, that kind of worked. It went x equals 0, y equals 0, good. x equals 0, y equals 1, good. But then it got up to x equals 0, y equals 3, and it stopped. So think about what's going on. Once it gets down, it goes to here, and it goes through all the, all the y's, okay? And then it goes down here, and it increases x. And it goes back up here. Oh, we don't do this loop anymore because y is already... Four. So I don't do that loop and I don't print it. So it, it messed up. So what I need to do is go down here and say y equals zero. So y every time after I go through this loop, I go back and I redo y equals zero. So now let's run this. Okay, so now it worked. So I have all the possible combinations. Get that? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so you have to reset that one variable. Now what if I want to do a third variable? Okay, so now I'm going to need another loop. So I'm going to say again, while z is less than 4, um, <clears throat> print x, y, z, z equals z plus dz. And again, I need to go up here and say z equals 0. I think that's going to work. Oh, I need to get rid of this. Those are all my values. And there's not, I only have three combinations, three variables, three combinations. So you can see all the different combinations. It gets crazy out of control with large numbers. Um, but that's how you do nested loops in Python. So why would you want to do this? What would it be for? Well, one thing you could say, maybe I want to do projectile motion and I want to shoot a ball at different angles and at different speeds. Well, I need, to, I need to go through all the possible speeds, you know, from like, say, 0 to 5 meters per second, and all the angles from 0 to, um, I don't know, 0 to pi over 2. This would be really useful if you wanted to find the maximum range for air resistance, right? So I could change the angle and see where it went. I don't know what the maximum range is going to be at, uh, <clears throat> but I could, just, I could just vary that. Well, that doesn't really make sense, but okay, well, that's, 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 that's good enough. I'll stop there.